Jorgit Terpowski makes a modest living growing vegetables and fruit in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. He's attuned to the weather, which he says has been unpredictable in recent years. The sowing and the harvesting seasons haven't changed, per se. What has changed is that there are sudden high temperatures, or low temperatures, or sudden rains. All of this has a negative impact on the plants. Jorgit is one of millions of rural farmers in Europe and Central Asia whose crops and incomes are affected by recent changes in climate patterns. Rising temperatures and changing rain and snowfall have brought more droughts and more floods to developing countries in Europe. Temperatures in Central Asia have increased above the worldwide warming average in the last 20 years. It's harming crop yields and livestock production. The heat is not good for the herd. We cannot produce good cheese in hot weather, and this is why we move. As a result, this shepherd is forced to move his flock to higher land. His sheep are cooler, but they can also erode soil in a country where it's estimated nearly half the land is already severely or very severely eroded. Farming is the mainstay of many rural livelihoods. The potential harm that changes in climate could do to agriculture is vast. That's why the World Bank has teamed up with partners in Albania, Macedonia, Moldova and Uzbekistan, so that policymakers, farmers and other agricultural stakeholders can start to tackle the challenges of a changing climate. Over the last three years, the World Bank has worked with ministries of agriculture, environment and other policymakers in all four countries. Together, they have designed programs, policies and investments to help farmers better cope with changing climates, both nationally and at the farming zone level. Farmers' needs have been incorporated into the recommendations that are being developed. During the last three to four years, we have been affected significantly by droughts. Droughts, hail, and low winter temperatures, which freeze the vineyards. To avoid drought, we thought of making a basin, trying to irrigate the whole plantation through a drip irrigation. We have made a basin, a small one, 20 by 20, but it does not help us too much. In order to irrigate such a big area, we need a much bigger basin, and we do not have the necessary finances to make such a basin. The program's recommendations and results may allow rural farmers in the region to begin adapting to tomorrow's climate scenarios while improving their livelihoods today.